Hello everyone, I'm Rose and this week's topic is Do you believe in the devil or Satan? Um, before I'm going to continue talking about this topic, I just want to make sure that I don't want to hurt feelings, it's just my opinion. So um, if you don't want to continue listening, there is a cross and you can close it. So yeah, I don't believe in the devil because first of all, the devil comes from Christianity. Um, and in Christianity, it's like, if you don't follow the rules of God, or if you do something bad, the devil will be there and punish you, you will go to hell, and so on and so on. Um, in the stories of the Bible, you also see that the devil tries to convince you to do bad things, to lure you into the darkness, to follow him, and so on. And you often hear Christians, sorry, 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 to, that they say like, oh, it wasn't me. The devil made me do this. Yeah, um, honestly, I think that you are responsible of all of your deeds. If you do that, it's you who did it. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Um, it's r really hard to explain this for me in English, but I, I just, uh, how am I going to explain this? So anyway, uh, for example, uh, you want to do something really bad. Let's make it very, um, yeah, big. Like, I really feel that I have to murder someone. Um, yeah, if you're going to do that, that's your thing. It, it's not the devil who made you do that killing or so on. So, um, and if you did the killing, you are not going to hell. You have just have to go to jail and you have to take your own responsibilities if you did that. I know I, I took murder, it's something big, but um, it's also with the little, little things. Um, it's not someone who makes, makes you do things. You're responsible of your own choices and your own life. So that part of the devil, I do not believe in. The devil can't make you do things if he exists. Um, I also think, and that's, that's again my opinion, that um, the devil really comes from the idea of paganism but like they misunderstood paganism they saw a god with hooves and horns and was very energetic and partying and sexual his sexuality his sexuality was high and so on and he did want to get to women and so on but he never raped them or so on. So um, I, I'm talking about Pan. <laughs> He's my patron god, by the way. Um, so I think they saw pictures of Pan and they were like, oh, that should, we are going to take those symbols to make a devil. That's how I see it. So um, Pan is absolutely not evil. Um, nothing in paganism is evil. evil unless you make it evil. So, um, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a very hard topic to talk about. I just never really had deeper thoughts about the devil because I, I, I never believed in the God on the throne and I never believed in the devil in the hell. And I just, th I just think that, again, nobody can make you do things. Um, so you're responsible of your own thoughts, your own deeds. If you do something bad, take your responsibility from it. Um, so yeah, I don't believe in the devil. Um, I also don't really see a connection with the witch father who some people connect with as Satan or the devil. Um, so yeah, it's quite inter interesting though, but I just don't, I just don't see it. I don't believe in it. So yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, this video is really bad. I'm sorry. Um, it's, it's just very hard for me to talk about this. Um, yeah, I'm not scared of the darkness where the Christians are scared from because I work with shadows, like I do shadow working and you ha sometimes you have to be in the darkness to really understand what's going on and to finally see the light again so there's nothing wrong with having a bad time or doing bad things because from mistakes you learn um so yeah <laughs>
I don't believe in the devil again. Sorry, <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. This video is probably the baddest video I ever made. I'm sorry. <laughs> again, I'm saying sorry so many times. I just woke up, sorry, again. <laughs> so yeah, bye, see you next week. <laughs>